Well, this week's bushel up, we're getting a little bit of fake rain out here to, at Aurora. Just a, a nice mist, uh, not really accomplishing anything. Uh, fortunately, I think a few people got some rain. Uh, we've stayed relatively dry through here. I uh, just can't seem to, to buy rain other than just a, a sprinkle here and there. But uh, pushing on with irrigation, just like everybody else, it is nice to get a little break on our ET and, and the amount of water we're taking up. Uh, however, I would rather see sunlight as we're filling these ears. So uh, if, if, if this is all we're going to get, I'd just assume it go away, um, but, we'll, but we'll see what happens here. I want to talk about a couple things. Uh, one of the big things kind of blowing up over the last two weeks, uh, just kind of seeing pressure build, uh, is with spider mites. Uh, you know, you can see that on the bottom side of leaves here, uh, getting webbed up. Uh, you'll start seeing just maybe a little discoloration on top, you know, and then we start seeing the webbing at the bottom. So uh, we've seen some fields where it's definitely warranted treatment. Again, as this corn is in, uh, you know, the further along corn, we're, we're in that mid dough uh, stage pushing along. We still have three, you know, three, four weeks. We want to keep that plant alive, uh, maybe a little bit longer on some of the later, later stuff. So um, obviously it's kind of a, a borderline call if you're on further along, just how, how aggressive the mites have gotten. Uh, if they're uh, kind of hitting that ear leaf, we definitely don't want to lose that. Uh, weather like this will help. Uh, slow them down, but like I say, we have had some fields where we're treating, especially, you know, you get further west, uh, dry land, anything that's kind of been stressed, you know, along along the edges of roads with the dust and so forth blowing in, uh, seem to be the hot pockets. Um, other than that, you know, not a lot, not seeing much to really uh, blow up on the disease front. Uh, plants seem to be hanging in there pretty good where we have water. A uh, good time of the year to start doing some root digs. You know, we've been out here at Owner's Acres with some of our guys uh, over the last couple weeks just doing some some digging, uh, some probing. Uh, it's just a good time. If you if you got a little break, uh, go out and investigate your fields. Uh, dig up some roots, uh, kind of compare field to field. Uh, we're seeing some very interesting and exciting things out here at Aurora with what we've been able to accomplish over the last uh, six, seven years as we've taken this field uh uh, to different levels and different steps along the way. So uh, with that note, we'd sure like to invite you. Uh, we've got our tour dates set for Owner's Acres here in Aurora. Uh, be coming up the 7th, 8th, and 9th of September. That'll be the week following uh, Labor Day weekend. Uh, we invite you to come out Wednesday morning. We're going to do an FFA day, and then we'll start tours up at 4 o'clock Wednesday night. Uh, tours will start at 10 a.m. and 4, again, 4, 4 o'clock p.m. on Thursday, and then we'll have a 10 a.m. tour on Friday. So uh, four, four or five dates there at times that hopefully you can make it out. Uh, if you have any questions, you want to carpool, get a hold of your uh, uh, location, uh, your sales personnel, and we'd love to see you here. Uh, we're going to talk about soil health. We're going to talk about uh, soil fertility. We're going to do a little root pit. Uh, we're going to obviously dig some roots, uh, kind of look at soil structure. Uh, we're going to talk about irrigation. Uh, you know, we've, we've learned some interesting things with irrigation. We've got a little different philosophy out here that we'd like to share with you. Uh, on how we use our moisture probes. We'll also uh, look at overall plant health. We're gonna look at, at emergence and just some of the things that, that we feel are very important uh, as we look at uh, increasing yields, uh, helping you guys raise more bushels on your farm. So uh, a lot of things, uh, in addition, we've got uh, all four major crop protection companies represented out here with different herbicide programs, uh, different fungicide programs, and some of their new products to showcase. So. Uh, whether you're a BSF, Bear, Corteva, or Syngenta person, uh, we've got something for you here, and we look forward to showing that to you. So we'll see you there. Uh, we'll post those dates and encourage you to sign up. And with that, we uh, wish this would actually amount to some rain, but we'll take every little bit we can get.